Growing up as a kid in the 90s, there was one cartoon that dominated Saturday morning TV, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I still have the theme stuck in my head. This led to an unexpected rise in the sale of turtles and terrapins in pet shops, though many became unwanted and were released into duck ponds, canals and lakes across the UK. You see, the problem is they start off like this, small, cute, and they fit inside a fish tank quite nicely. Now, they soon grow to the size of a dinner plate. They can potentially buy and carry salmonella. They're not the kind of pet that you should buy on a whim, and they take a lot of specialist care. A lot of them end up in turtle sanctuaries like this. Come on, you, let's get you back. I've been reliably informed there's one of these terrapins here at Eyemonger's Pond in Nottingham. The problem is they're omnivores and eat just about anything, including fish, frogs, and even ducklings. Terrapings are long-lived, up to 30 years, about the same age as me, so there could very well be some that were dumped here back in the 90s. So I found a nice quiet corner of the lake. Now conditions are not ideal today, you want lots of sun to get them out basking. However, we're still going to give it a go. Now, terrapins can stay submerged for up to 30 minutes, and in these kind of conditions, they'll only just poke their head out of the water. So they're not going to be easy to spot. But let's give it a go. Hopefully, we can find them. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now, it looks like a stick. That's how well camouflaged they are, so it's easy to see how you can miss these. Now, it doesn't look like it's going to be doing any martial arts anytime soon but I just can't believe I've found it in these conditions. It's absolutely horrendous where before them, so that's brilliant. Let's get a little bit closer so we can get a better look. There are many species of terrapin, but the most common one found in Britain is the red-eared slider, with those characteristic red bands on the side of their head. Others include common snapping turtle, and there are some reports of European pond turtles, which are believed to have been native once to Britain, albeit 10,000 years ago, before the last ice age. Now, being cold-blooded, terrapins need to warm up, so the morning is the best time to see them. Now, in the winter, terrapins need to hibernate, and they do this by submerging to the bottom of the pond, burying in all the mud, and they slow down their heart rate. Now, the bottom of the pond's a nice, stable temperature, and the way that they breathe is through their bum. I'm not making it up. Normally, they have to come to the surface for air, having lungs like us, but during the winter, they're completely submerged. Now, their bodies shut down, so they have minimal oxygen needs, absorbing all the oxygen from the water around them. Now, I know they shouldn't be here, but I can't help but feeling a little bit nostalgic seeing this old warrior knocking about. They're incredibly hard to catch, a bit like a ninja. So, for the time being, this terrapin is here to stay. <laughs> 